friends, it's Jen with Jay Vinko coming at you today with another journal with me video. Thank you so much for joining me to watch and I have to give a little shout out to some new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It's really fun to have some more people joining in and watching the videos. So here I am going to do a couple days of journaling. Um, this first spread is going to be about my son Drake's birthday. He turned eight in the middle of July, so this is overdue. It has taken me a long time to <laughs> cut up this video, and I've been doing other stuff in between and all kinds of crazy stuff. So anyway, this is a little overdue, but this is, um, I decided I had a bunch of pictures from this day, so I wanted to include a couple tip-ins, and I decided to make two strips that look like film negatives and put them on the outside of each page. So that's what I'm doing here is making my little negative sheets, my little strips of negatives, um, and then I'll just put the pictures on them. And I decided to do a little stamping. You know how that goes. Sometimes it just doesn't go the way we want it to. And this is one of those occasions. <laughs> so um, I stamped it there. I was going to try and stick a book underneath, but it was too close to the inside, to the spine on there. I I just didn't remove the stamp carefully, and so I left a little bit above it. So in, uh, I left that in here so you could see that, you know, we all make mistakes, and I just decided to stamp it on another little piece of paper and cut it out and cover it up. And so that worked just fine. I I don't even really notice it with the finished page that that's what I did. So yeah, just cover it up. Just cover it up. That's how we take care of problems. We just cover them up. So um, I just organized my pictures into a couple little piles of the first day, the 17th was his actual birthday on the Sunday. And that was kind of a home party, not a party if there's only four of us and we all live there all the time. Is that really a party? Maybe. Sure. Yeah, it's still a party. So Drake got to pick what meals he wanted that day. He picked two meals that we cooked at home, which I was shocked because I thought it was going to be all fast food. I think the year before it was two or three different fast foods. I don't remember for sure, but um, he would normally pick Chick-fil-A they're not open on Sunday, so he had to go with something else. So he picked Taco Bell KFC, I think, and blah. Um, so <laughs> for breakfast, we made our big breakfast. Um, it's kind of like our, our messed up version of an English breakfast. And then he picked roast dinner, which is also an English dinner, but we make it, I mean, a little bit more American. Um, because Tim is English, and that is my significant other, and I am not explaining things well today. So anyway, oh, he got to pick the meals, and then um, and then I made kind of a list of games we could play, not board games, just like party games, and to make it extra fun, Tim got some prizes so that there would be a fun little incentive for winning the game. There is another mistake, folks. I <laughs> stuck those pictures on the wrong way. Um, and so I had to, luckily, the adhesive on the back of those pictures was working okay with that cardstock, and it didn't rip up anything. It, it let me replace them, so that was useful. Um, so then I'm just putting a couple pictures on the back of each side. And... Then I had some space to write, at least on the back side. I didn't end up writing on the front except for the dates. Um, anyway, so I made a list of games. We had some prizes. And I always have kind of a grand <laughs> idea of what's going to happen. And it doesn't usually pan out that way. I had a whole list of games and what I thought was going to happen. And I think we really only ended up playing two different things that were on my list. Um, and you'll see that in just a minute. So there, yeah, I just used those sticker, like script stickers to put Drake's name on there below the stamp. And I like that. I thought that turned out nice with the black and white. But then I felt like 
maybe that was just a little too drab. So I do end up coloring in those birthday letters. Um, and there I'm just writing the date on each side. So it was kind of cool, you know, that it was just, we did the family thing on Sunday and then we did an outing with his friend on Monday. So there I'm just looking through my messy basket of collage stuff. You might have seen some videos where I'm cutting that stuff out and you see I did not bother organizing it yet. <laughs> it's just all in that basket. I'll get around to it eventually. And this is what I really like about journaling. I feel like it helps you get past your hangups. Like you might be thinking like I wouldn't know what to put in there, but the the point is you can put whatever you want in there. Like, well, I'll just decide whatever I think fits and that's what's going in there. So that's a bowling pin. Okay. Don't let's not be, let's keep our minds out of the gutter for a little bowling pun there. <laughs> it maybe didn't look like a bowling pin at first, but that's what I was going for. Um, because we went to a place that had bowling and arcade games and stuff. There is my little pip stickers. It gets its own special binder booklet thingy, um, but I didn't end up using any of them because I hoard them, you see. So, um, so there I am drawing a table and what one of the games that we played was a little shooting gallery. So I made a little shooting area to shoot rubber bands at tin cans and try to knock them down. Um, and you could hold the rubber bands whatever way it worked for you. You had to stand a certain distance away behind the chair. I slowed this down so you could see just the, how nice I put the can stickers on there. <laughs> um, it was really fun actually trying to shoot the rubber bands at the cans and I'm trying to remember who won that round. I don't remember. I think the kids did and so they got to pick a prize. They thought the prizes were pretty exciting. There's my big unwieldy thing of washi tape there. Um so yeah, there were there was just some little like little action figures, I don't know, little collectible character things and like some Twix bars and I don't know what else. Just some little little fun stuff to choose from. Um, so on the front of those um, negative strips that I used there, I did use a metallic pen, but I didn't want to use up a bunch of metallic pen on the back, so I used white colored pencil, which was good in theory, but then I had to write kind of big because it was really blunt and I don't, didn't have a pencil sharpener in my office and I was not going all the way down to the garage to sharpen the pencil and then what happens next? I write a few lines and then it's blunt again and then I have to go back to the garage? I don't think so. So I did not do that. I just wrote kind of big, kind of sloppy. Um, and then I wrote teeny tiny in the rest of the journal to make up for it. Um, let's see, what am I talking about there? I'm talking about the games and, and all the stuff for the home party. He got to open all his presents when he was ready, and he enjoyed that, because let's be honest, who doesn't enjoy opening up some presents? He got, he got Breath of the Wild. It's a, it's a Switch game. It's a Zelda game, and he's wanted that game for for a long time, for years, he'll tell you, even though he's only been around for eight years. <laughs> he acts like it's been a really long time, but he used to call it Tink's Wild Breath instead of Breath of the Wild. I don't know why, but it was funny. Anyway, he was thrilled to get that game that mom finally caved and let him have that game. So, um... Yeah, so, and I put that orange washi tape in there because I didn't like that gap by the, um, by the bowling pin, but, but I don't know how much I like that it's just like half height on the page. I don't care. It's done. It's over. There it is. That's what it looks like now. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Just like me. <laughs> so, um, in the bowling pin, I just talked about when we went to the place the next day with his friend. Um, we would bowl, and I wasn't bowling, just the kids were bowling, but he, Drake would go 
bowl of frame and then he'd come lounge on the couch like half laying down and just socializing and it was just really funny to watch <laughs> because he's just like not just sitting on the bench he just like kind of lays across it like he owns the place or something it was pretty funny anyway um and Vincent hadn't been bowling you know a ton and he did pretty good he I think I could just see a definite difference in how he was bowling from the last time we went so I think he's picked up some skill so on to the next page here I'm just looking through all these people cutouts that I have and I found that kid with that kind of dismayed look on his face um, because this page is about me turning 40 and um, let's be honest I'm dismayed just like that kid he doesn't know what to do with that information and neither do I I'm 40 I mean that used to mean that used to look different to me and now that I'm here I don't I don't even know what to do with it I don't know so I just uh, I just made it the focal point of the page there <laughs> you can see that 40 from space if you want to and that's how it feels like a like a big like a tag on me now so anyway not really I don't really care about turning 40 um, I don't feel a whole lot different except that I can now say this round number and you know I've acted middle-aged for the last three decades at least probably longer three and a half so nothing's changed <laughs> I'm still middle-aged maybe a little maybe a little bit more sore and creaky that's what's happening so I don't know why I, I made it look like there's kind of frost on top or it could be frosting um, maybe my cold, icy heart. I don't know. I'm not sure why I chose to do that, but I think it looks just dandy. So, so that's what it is. Um, this, um, if you saw, I cut this out on one of my recent magazine harvest videos, and I really wanted to find like a scuba diver or something like that to represent using my new sleep machine, <laughs> but I, I couldn't find anything like that. But that dog looks how I feel after trying to get used to the sleep machine. And so he, he ended up being perfect. And then you can see to the left, there's a little, an astronaut. And I put that on there instead of the scuba diver, because he's got breathing tubes too. So it works. And then I found this washi tape just sitting off to the side. I got that from Joanne quite a while ago, Joanne Fabric, um, and just haven't used it yet. So I decided that would add a little, a fun little stripe at the bottom. And that heart was from one of my pages of printables. And now I'm looking for just the right Coca-Cola um, <laughs> image to use on the page there. And I like that one with the hand for some reason. Someone's handing it to me so I can have a sip. Um, so yeah, the dog talking about how my sleep didn't go well. I I used some more washi at the top there. Um, sometimes when I can't figure out what to do, what I want to include or how I want to lay it out, then I'll just reach for some washi and put it on the edge and go from there. Um, and I found those words tossed and turned there, so that fits. Those squiggles, it's a little journaling spot from, oh, there's a thumbs down from my printables as well. <laughs> and then the squiggle. Um, I liked, I like writing my journaling on those squiggles. I think it looks cool being, you know, not just straight across. And so here I am writing this story about, not a story. I just wrote about how much I like Coca-Cola and how I don't like to say I like Coke because I'm afraid people will misunderstand and think I mean cocaine, but I don't. I just mean the beverage. <laughs> and so I feel like I always have to say that if I'm like, I like Coke, the drink. <laughs> like I always have to set them straight so they don't think I'm, you know, doing cocaine. Anyway, that that's really a strange hang-up for, 
for me to have. So anyway, there, I wanted to make a little list. I just said, I love my kids, exclamation point, and then put, and family <laughs> after that. Uh, because I do, I like all, they're all pretty super. And then I love journaling, I love Coke, and then I put the drink in parentheses after it. <laughs> um, and then I said, I love this time in my life, which is true. 40s, the new 80. Um, I'm doing good. Loving it. So let's see. In that little pink box, I said that we've been doing a lot of puzzles. And then I just put a, a few words. I put fun and cheers on there. This, I like watching my watching myself cut those out on this high speed because it looks like a machine is cutting that out all, all perfectly, all nicely. But in reality, it, it's not that smooth at all. But it, it turned out okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that face, so that's a date number right there from my printables. And it's just like a, I think it's a sad face just because I didn't sleep well and was having trouble. I don't know if I even finished my thought about that sleep machine, but it's like a reverse vacuum. It's like a leaf blower on your face. <laughs> and when you break the seal on it so that you like to move it a little bit or whatever, it's it's the middle of the night when you're doing that, most likely. And so this rush of air and it's loud and it's just like blowing out and it's very disruptive. And then sometimes it starts out with a lower setting and then in the middle of the night, it's like a higher amount of air. It's forcing you to breathe. And so my cheeks are like puffed up at that point. So when I wake up in the middle of the night, like the air is just filling up my cheeks <laughs> and it feels weird. Like I stuck my head out the window. I'm, you know, was just trying to still get used to it, but it has gotten better. It's definitely made a difference. So now for a leap into the future. Well, here we are suddenly with the finished pages because I'm a bit of a doorknob. I, I don't know what happened to the video where I actually journaled in here and finished the rest of this page, but I'll just show you the end result here. So um, I just finished up obviously with journaling. I did some of it straight up and down in black pen and then some of it sideways in blue. Um, who knows why I did that? Um, little OMG here about turning 40 and then some happy birthday stuff. Um, and then talked about, whoa, 40, when did that happen? Shouldn't I be more grown up? And that is super true. And then I used some of these stickers, these little pig stickers to, uh, Put a few little embellishments and a little cat blowing a bubble over here. And that's it for this page. Oh, and I used a Tim Holtz. Um, we never really grow up. We only learn how to act in public. <laughs> and that's true also. So that's it for this page and the page before. And then these uh, pages about Drake's birthday. And that's it for this video. So... Thank you so much for joining me and thanks for hanging in there with my lapse. I don't I don't know where the video for the rest of this page went, but this is it. Here it here it is. It's all done. Time to close the book on today.